This is one of the best family coasters I have ever ridden. Dragon Gliders is a perfect blend between roller coaster and dark ride. It's completely indoors and is story driven through and through, and they do that using both practical and screen effects. It's themed around the very popular How to Train Your Dragon movie franchise. It follows the characters Hiccup, Astrid, and Toothless as they take you along a dragon riding adventure. The ride can be found at Motion Gate in Dubai in the DreamWorks section. This is a massive building made up of How to Train Your Dragon, Shrek, Madagascar, and Kung Fu Panda. These are all mini lands right next to each other within this one big building, but it's completely immersive. So when you enter the How to Train Your Dragon land, you are now in the Isle of Burke. Everything is stylized to look straight out of the first movie. This is before the dragons and the Vikings come together. And if you look up above you, you'll see Roller Coaster Track in this awesome awesome ride vehicle going directly overhead. It's a mock rides powered coaster, only one of three of its kind in the world. It opened in 2017 shortly after the Motion Gate theme park made its debut, which places it three years after the first of its kind, Arthur, at Europa Park. And I did have the opportunity to experience Arthur prior to this, so I knew what to expect from the ride system. You hang below the track and it'll point you in different directions, speeding you up, slowing you down. None of it is gravity driven. Each moment is very carefully planned out. And you know, I liked Arthur when I first wrote it, but followed these characters that I was very unfamiliar with. I liked how whimsical it was, but I'm a big fan of the How to Train Your Dragon movies. And so when I heard that there was a How to Train Your Dragon roller coaster and that it was like actually immersive, I was sold. And I think they couldn't have picked a better ride system to tell the story. It is so smart. So let's walk through this experience. The Dragon Glider's entrance is flanked by these two massive Viking statues that you'll walk between. You're in this dark cabin-like structure. You can see an animated map of Burke. There's flags, lanterns, information on different dragons that you might find in this universe. And it is just so atmospheric. They really use sound and lighting to their advantage. And then when you get to the station, you are greeted with a moving loading platform. You'll step aboard the conveyor belt and take one of three rows. Now, if possible, I recommend riding this more than once because depending on where you sit, you might get a better view for different scenes. If you're in the middle, you probably have the best of both worlds being able to see everything, but there are advantages to the front and the back. As you dispatch out of the station, you're going to take a right-hand turn and slow down next to an animatronic of Gobber. He's pulling a chain and he tells you, oh, you don't need to worry about those safety warnings. You're flying with dragons. Dragons. And let me just say, he looks straight out of the movie. And that goes for any of the characters that they have represented here. But it is spot on. It's truly incredible. You'll move past Gobber and start rising up and then you'll turn to the left. There's a screen that tracks with your ride vehicle. You can see a dragon flying in the distance. You'll pivot, turning from the left to the right, and then stop in front of a screen where you can see Hiccup and Astrid on their dragons. Hiccup asks Astrid if she's up for a little adventure going to the Forbidden Island. Astrid is like, I don't know, that might be a little much for the dragon glider. Because the whole idea here is that you aren't riding on dragons. You're riding on a contraption that the Vikings made to mimic the feeling of riding on dragon. You'll then start up again, moving past some Viking statues. As you pivot around, you'll face backwards for a moment and then turn to the right. You come to a stop in a dark room and Hiccup is like, hey, Toothless, how about a little light? And then boom, you see this massive leg of a dragon. They're like, uh-oh, we better get you out of here. You'll then start picking up speed again, rising up to the right. You'll go directly past a dragon egg, flip around from the left to the right, moving past another dragon. And then you'll make a brief stop where you can see Hiccup and Astrid, except this time they're in real life. Hiccup is like, Toothless, what's going Going on and then boom there's an animatronic dragon in front of you you can see its head poking out through the ice the ride vehicle slows down to give you some time to check them out you'll speed up again to move out of the ice caves and you'll see some of the characters running through the ice along next to you and you'll stop at some figures of hiccup and toothless waiting out trying to hide from this dragon he appears on a screen directly in front of you roaring it's like uh oh we better go at this point you then pause for a screen section where that dragon is chasing astrid around blasting fires they're trying to stop it You'll then start up again, moving to the left. There's another screen of them firing catapults, and then you'll rotate around and look, you're now over the entire land. And this part is like nothing short of magical because there's onboard audio. They're playing the soundtrack from the movie. You can see Olive Burke as it pivots you around to different vantage points, and they'll re enter the building and enter this downwards helix to go back into the station. And what's that in the center other than an animatronic of Hiccup and Toothless as Hiccup is being slobbered in kisses, and he's like, Who's a good dragon? Who's a good dragon. It's adorable. 
And that's the end of the ride. It is so well-themed, and you are engaged in the story from start to finish. I like this stops and goes to keep things interesting. You can follow what is going on the entire time because you can hear everything clearly. All the screens were really HD. You didn't need to wear 3D glasses, and all the animatronics were amazing. So let's give this thing a final score. Honestly, I don't have any complaints about this ride. It was masterfully done, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. They knocked it out of the park. I wanted to just keep riding over and over again. I think we ended up getting four or five rides on this while we were at Motion Gate. They have a lot of good attractions, but we were just so impressed with this ride. It was 100% on the same level as something you'd find at Disney or Universal. And clearly this ended up impressing Universal too because the third version of this ride system actually exists at Universal Beijing. That's the most recent one to open. It's called Jurassic Flyers. It's in the Jurassic World section. And I hope that isn't the last one because there's just so much potential with what Mach has come up with here. If you have the right story and the right budget to do good theming, the possibilities are endless. So let me know down in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to experience Dragon Gliders at Motion Gate in Dubai. If you agree with the points that I brought up and if you think there's anything I missed, be sure to let me know. And if you're new to the channel, please go check out the Coaster Reviews playlist. There you can find ride reviews from all around the world in alphabetical order. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.